episode of Boy IRL. We are here at Jin Jin Ro on King Street. And I'm here with Mari Taketa, also known as Last Step Mari on, on Twitter. And um, we just thought we'd take a break during the middle of our in uh, review and just kind of get to know Mari better. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, don't put it like you're, that. You're like... <laughs> so, how did you get into food reviewing? How did I get into were, food were reviewing? Were you always a foodie? Like, did you grow up foodie? Um, let's see. No? I'm okay, thank you. I would like another plum wine. <laughs> anyway, huh? keep going. Oh, um, <laughs> food. Yes. Actually, no, because I didn't grow up eating good food. Sorry, Ma. It wasn't until I grew up and actually, you know, I lived in Tokyo and I was like kind of oblivious to the food there and then I came back and then I really started getting into food and then it really took off when I was in Vietnam. So, I'm a little bit opinionated. So everybody who eats with me, yeah, here's my opinion of what I'm eating at the time I'm eating it anyway. And somehow, Diane Sale at Metro Mix kind of caught that and she kind of wrote me into Metro Mix uh, along with you. And it took off from there. Mm -hmm. How did you get into food reviewing? No, oh, this is not about me. No, no, it's Eminem, right? <laughs> Eminem. Oh, no, this is uh, no, this is IRL. So we're getting to know but you. But like nobody at IRL knows how you got into food reviewing either. We're Melissa? supposed to be doing this to show that Mari's not bossy <laughs> or scary, but. Um. <laughs> I mean, it's I've never working. asked you that, right? <laughs> We want to know, Melissa. <laughs> anyway, Melissa. <laughs> oh, no, you've not been watching my videos, have you? It was probably the same way as me, except you grew up it's in a foodie family, me. right? <laughs> I did. But anyway, so you didn't grow up with good food because your mom was not a good cook? Yeah. And you never She was cook? very healthy. Hmm? What do you mean healthy? Well, we always had the vegetable, the salad, the protein, and the starch. Every and meal. she would plan out, yeah. She would plan out the whole week's menu at a time and then go shopping on Saturday and get the whole week. So it didn't deviate. And I grew up eating healthy, well balanced meals and like that. And restaurants were a, a, a rare, rare treat. How rare? A few times a year. Wow. And so growing up, was it, what was the fanciest place you went to? Oh, wow. Good question. I'm going to ask you that after I answer it. Uh -huh. And you're going to answer it. I know. Okay. Because she's not bossy. <laughs> you know, Should I tell you mine while you're no, I know where it is. Okay. Not that I remember everything, but Knott's Berry Farm. Have you ever what? had their fried chicken and rhubarb pie? But that's on, on the mainland. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay, but what about here? All I remember is flamingo. Yeah. That was a look of pity, yeah? No, 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 no. You no, see, no, they no, were not no, foodies. No, no, no. Not foodies. Food had a function. It was to nourish. Oh, so mine was, um, if, if I recall correctly, I think my fanciest restaurant was Little George's. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. Because they had made lobster. Oh. So, and how old were you? Um, like eight. Oh. <laughs> On the other hand, you put yourself through college, right? Yes. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. I get it. I get it. What? So, see, we traveled a lot. And yeah. that's why my best foodie memories are from traveling. Because we had oh. to eat out. Oh, no, we traveled too, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, I guess, I, I mean, I remember... I remember where we ate and stuff, but I guess most of my childhood memories are here in Hawaii. And it's funny now because when you ask me now what my favorite restaurants are, it's usually a way. Could I have another plum wine? <laughs> On the rocks. On the rocks. Hello. On the rocks. Hello. Uh, what's what? Just on the rocks. On no the rocks. On the rocks. Yeah. Okay, plum wine on the rocks. Hello. Yeah. Camera's rolling. <laughs> Did you say so, something? So can you cook? Oh, oh, we're still yeah, rolling. I can cook. I can cook. What, what do you cook? Oh, actually, I cook very well. I've written five cookbooks. You've written five? Yeah, cookbooks? I used to give them away at Christmas. Um, just self-published, and everything I cook can be cooked in the time it takes spaghetti noodles to boil. I tend to be a little impatient. Just a little. Yeah, I can cook a whole meal in that time. I see. So, like, and you know what? It's well balanced. You want the same moon like this? No, I want on the rocks. On the rocks. Oh, did you want something? 
No, no, no. No need. Don't worry about me. Because you know, they, they have a full bar now. No, I have to work overnight. But, oh, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so what, what's your specialty? What can you do? Oh, wow. Well, so I've lived in Japan, and I've lived in Vietnam, and here. So I can cook Japanese things and Vietnamese things, um, and anything that I whip up. And it's all really good. No, but what's specific? What's specific? What do you like to okay, make? Okay, okay, okay. Ever since I started reviewing food, I haven't really cooked. No, but before that. You know why? Because you go out so much, you come home with takeout, right? Because you need and then you're busy. I mean, who's who's not on deadline now? Yeah, you're on deadline. I'm on deadline. So you go buy takeout. I'm the queen of takeout now. Specialty, I don't remember, <laughs> but it's all good. But so before you started reviewing the Metro Mix, what did you like to cook? What was your? What did I like to cook? Yeah. I can cook different spaghettis. I can make um, Korean gimbap sushi rolls, a major pain. I tell you, you gotta like, cook six different things, put them all together. It's better to go Paloma Market, pay 350. I can cook different kinds of chicken, different kinds of fish. I don't remember. It was that far away. Yeah, why are you asking about cooking? I mean, you know, we review food, we don't have to cook. Oh, no, because sometimes people um, bring in their cooking skills. Well, can you answer what is your specialty? That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. No, it's mine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> What's your specialty? Um, I actually make spaghetti carbonara. But oh yeah? yeah? Roman style? Uh, no. I only learned the Roman style in later years when I was watching the food network. Wow, and that's your specialty? Very impressed. Yeah, but See, I, if I you let people them. into your condo, maybe people could try what you talk no, about. I'll just cook it for you and I'll, I'll bring it to your house. It sogs up. It's Spaghetti fine. has to be eaten a la minute. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> What's your favorite travel destination? Oh, Scotland. Yeah. Why? Scotland is not a foodie destination, but it is better than it used to be. It's not all haggis and deep fried Mars bars, deep fried pizza, deep fried eggs, you know, that kind of stuff. They have this um, farm to table movement. They had it like 10, 15 years ago. Excellent lamb, excellent salmon, excellent haddock. And the vegetables are in season from greenhouses on properties. They're really, really good. Why do I like Scotland? It's very desolate. Uh, don't ask me why. Okay. But where do I go most often? Probably lately Asia. Just because we live here, you know, in proximity. Yeah. And once you get a foothold in Asia, it's really easy to just explore different countries and different cultures yeah. and different foods. Some of the best foods in the world are like underrated cuisines of Asia. Like what, you ask? You were going to ask, right? I was Vietnamese. Going to ask. Yeah, Vietnamese. Everybody knows only pho and spring rolls. Get beyond that. You know, it's one of the healthiest, most vibrant cuisines of the world. We should do an IRL at a Vietnamese restaurant. Yeah. I'll show you what to eat. Yeah, we should do an IRL at a Vietnamese restaurant. I'm sure Parker would like that very much. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Everything is green. Yes. 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 It's yes. colorful. Green it's colorful and raw. Cuisine. <laughs> How about you? Number one favorite travel destination? Paris. Wow. That's where I'm supposed to die, right? Oh no, I'm going to go to Switzerland to die. That's another IRL for another time. But um, just before we, before we close... You have it all planned out? Yes, but before we close, because we only have a minute left, um, I just want to clear one thing up. You're the oldest child, yes? Yeah. And you're, you're, where are you, you, where and you your going? Sister. You and your sister. Where are, are you going? Just checking. So La Mari is the oldest sister, and her sister is my classmate. And, um, Wait a minute. Are you going to the bossy place? I, I didn't say anything. That's all I wanted to say. Have you never been called bossy? No. <laughs> Do the math. Who's older between the two of them? Okay, so that wraps up another episode of Hawaii IRL. Thanks so much for visiting with us, and um, don't forget to check out our, our review on masaphonolulu.com. <laughs> you'll see mine and Mari's smiling faces there. So, until next time.